Welcome back everyone. I uh, just wanted to show you the latest and greatest of what I've been doing with the hydrogen generator. Uh, you may have seen um, a lot of posts on the cell designs and whatnot, but here is my working container that I have just finished tonight. Um, and I'll post this up afterwards, but just wanted to give you an idea of what I have put together here. Uh, the same cell is uh, in it like you saw before, but this is just a, a container made from PVC. Um, it's 8 inch high PVC with an end cap glued on down here um, and I had an end cap on top but didn't quite like the design, wasn't sealing very well so I got a little adapter, shoved that on and a screw top there. I got my electrodes uh, drilled out through here, one for the positive and one for the negative and I also put, uh, spent some time putting a, a little window in here so that I could see what was going on. Unfortunately, I didn't have readily access um, for this project to clear um, container PVC, so I had to work with what I had, and so at the hand was PVC and some acrylic laying around, so I was able to put a window in there. I siliconed everything up so that it is uh, airtight and watertight. On this other side here, I had planned to put a little water level um, where you could see the water level here in this little part. Um, it's, it worked out okay, but I got the water level so high that it's kind of above it, so uh, in essence it, it works, but it doesn't work the best. I'm sure there's a better solution for that. But I've got a little barb, a 3 8 inch barb coming out of the top here, and um, I just wanted to show you all it bubbling so y'all could uh, I could prove that it, it actually does work. I'm really happy with it. Um, the solution in here, I'm going to zoom in so that you can see it here. Um, I've got a solution of distilled water and baking soda and uh, it's got about it's got about a teaspoon I'll say maybe a little over a teaspoon not quite one and a half teaspoons of, of baking soda but the cell is in there I've been running it a little bit so it is a little murky right now um, but the cell is in there that five cell design or five plate design I should rather uh, I've got it hooked up to and my computer power supply it's running at around 10 volts um, supplied to the to the cell yeah. and I will show you it running here let me zoom back on the thing here so you can see it start producing there it goes goes up real quick pan over here we can see it's uh, really producing really well. I'm really happy with this. It seems to be um, airtight enough to produce a very good pressure. Uh, I've been doing some experiments about as far as how much volume I'm getting um, per time. And what I've been using is just have this little uh, Nalgene bottle uh, laying around. Um, and it's got markers on the sides that I could tell. So what I have done is I've been able to measure the amount of volume I'm getting out of this. And right now for uh, 16 ounces, um, I am averaging uh, about a minute per 16 ounces uh, as far as volume goes. So it, pretty substantial. I know I hear a lot of people saying about a liter a minute. Um, I'm definitely not quite there. I'm probably about half a liter a minute, um, so to speak. But uh, that's my setup so far. Um, there it is working. All right, guys, just wanted to show you real quick how I actually was metering um, and capturing the gas to show volume here. Um, I'm just filling up this, this Nalgene bottle, uh, making sure all the air is out of it here. And I'm going to be turning this upside down, putting the, the tube in there that's coming out of the HHO, oh, if I can get it there, and uh, let the thing run and watch the water fall and when it's actually gone then I can uh, know how much uh, is gone by the little reading on the side here. So I just want to show you all that real quick. Um, try my hands off real quick so I don't electrocute myself. I'm gonna turn the HHO on. Okay, 
and stick it up here. And uh, last time um, I did this, I can't do it as well with just one hand, but um, I had a reading of one minute and two seconds to fill up 16 ounces uh, using this method. So um, exactly how I did it last time. Um, just proof there, one minute and two seconds, if you can see that as I hold this. Um, I'm also doing this to show you uh, a little fun. Uh, if you can be safe with this, this is very dangerous, so I don't recommend anybody doing this um, at their own house, but um, this can not be good. So I just wanted to fill this up here. I'll go ahead and uh, turn her off here so that we don't run too much. And there's our captured hydrogen there. Close it up tight.